Uh, the next item is the plugins, and oh, let me save that first for later. And then we'll go to plugins, and like I said, these are all incredibly easy. Um, the plugins that come with WordPress are Kismet, which is an anti-spam, uh, which is a, a third-party paid service that you can use, and Hello Dolly, which is just kind of an example plugin. Uh, I don't recommend keeping these just because we're not going to use them, and there is no reason to have a plugin in your installed in your system, deactivated or not, that your website isn't using. So if you've used a plugin and you no longer need it, don't just deactivate it, delete it, get rid of it. The fewer plugins we have, normally the better, and just, just as a general rule. It's less things to keep updated, uh, and not that that's a huge deal or anything, but just as a general rule, the least amount of plugins that you use, the better. If you have to use a bunch, use a bunch, but get rid of them after you're done with them. So um, to delete them, it's similar to pages and posts. To delete them, we can just click the select all button, <clears throat> And we're gonna, if they're activated, you can deactivate them. Uh, you can click this activate to turn them on. You can uh, click on the delete button to get rid of them. Um, but we're just gonna delete these two quickly. And just to show you how to install a plugin, it's the same kind of thing. If you download a plugin or you've purchased one from somewhere and need to upload it, you do click on upload plugin, choose file and whatever, and click install now. Um, or you can add them from the repository. So. Uh, you can search for a plugin if you have a specific one, but let's just install this Akismet, which I just deleted, uh, just to kind of show you. Click on Install Now. So that's installed now. Now it turns to an Activate button. You can also look at the, the rate, the reviews of the plugin. Uh, pay close attention to the last time it was updated. So you can see if it wasn't updated for a year, you probably don't want to use that plugin. Um, it'll also tell you whether or not it's compatible with your current version. You can click on more details, which brings up a pop-up window that gives you even more information, uh, installation questions, facts, you know, supports, things like that. Once it's installed, click on activate to activate it. And now you can see this is asking me to set up my account, things like that, but we don't want to do that. So we're just going to deactivate that again and delete it again. So right now we have no plugins on the site and everything is kind of, kind of cool. Um, this there's also an editor uh, under themes and an editor under plugins. But what this is actually, it's actually to edit the plugin files themselves, like the PHP code within them. And later on, we're actually going to disable these editors so that if somebody did happen to get access to our site, they wouldn't be able to edit the files on the server and add in any kind of malicious code. So we're going to get rid of those later on. Uh, but for now, just ignore them. It's probably not a good idea to go in there and mess around with PHP files uh, unless you're a PHP developer. And even then. Specifically with plugins, it's not a good idea to ever update a plugin through the code, uh, changing lines of code, because when that plugin updates, you're going to lose all your changes because it's going to copy over all those files. Then the thing with same thing with themes, but we're going to be using what's called a child theme, uh, which will allow us to make certain changes to a theme without having those changes overwritten when the theme's updated. So I'll show you that later, but for now, just stay away from the editor unless you kind of know what you're doing. Um, with PHP code and things like that and setting up child teams and stuff. <clears throat>